Hello and welcome. This is another edition of Game Grub's Compilations. Did you expect somebody to like put in some kind of effect there? Because they're not going to do it. I'm the boss and I say put one in. All right, here we go. Wow. It looked great. Amazing. What's today's compilation, Aaron? Today's compilation is we're, we're going through all of, well, I don't know if it's all of them, but a lot of the uh, Pokemon Game Grips animated that, that have been done over the years by amazing artists. Wonderful. I love these. I'm gonna move Let's do it. So that I don't have to, there we go. Now I feel like comfy. Ready to go. Okay. You look great. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Could you imagine like a, like a, like a really fucking intense like Pokemon bust where they like, like oh, yeah. kick open the door and they're like GET DOWN! GET DOWN! <laughs> GO GO GO! SHUT THAT FUCKING DOG UP! <laughs> 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 it's just like, it's a fucking Psyduck in the corner, like, Psy yay yay! <laughs> it's just like, gets caught in the crossfire, and gets like, shot at, and it's like, blah, 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 and just like, paints the wall with fucking Psyduck's blood. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. And they're like, self-defense! Self-defense! <laughs> it was coming right for us. <laughs> wow. Instead, we just kind of go, use your ass to attack. And then it goes, yeah. <laughs> then the Golbat's like, Mark. And faints, <laughs> quote unquote. Turn snack is just hanging out. You hear like a window crash and then like a grenade slowly roll towards him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just looks up at you and he's like, Tell Martha and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's super effective at being sad. <laughs> Tell my wife I still have a gross arm. She knows. She knows about the arm. <laughs> 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 and then it plays some like fucking like. I say that a hero could do, but not gonna stand here. Wow. Wow. Quite happen. a scene you just painted there. Yeah, I would love to see that. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be in the Detective Pikachu. Sequel. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wow, that that's really impressive. Jordanimating is the name of the yeah Jordan um, artist. Yeah. It, it um it's impressive how they get so much expressiveness from the characters without any eyes. Yeah, and and also I love like the limited animation look of it. Like that kind of stuff when it's like super stylized and yet they like use it effectively is is really that tingles my animator brain. Yeah, it's it's impressive. Do you know what that uh that shut that fucking dog up is a reference to? No, I don't. It's from the Dave Chappelle show where they have the really over the top SWAT team raid on the guy's house and just there's like unnecessary grenades flying everywhere and, <laughs> and the classic SWAT thing from all those cop movies uh, in the 80s was always like shut that fucking dog up <laughs> uh, and it just cracks me up that the idea uh, would be immediately followed by Psyduck getting shot. <laughs> Just painting the wall with Psyduck's blood. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Our brains went some weird places, man. Like yeah. when we uh, w when we played Pokemon, it was primarily because those were the days when we would film late, late at night. Yeah, and just like long um, session. I mean, we do like what well, we do like fourteen episodes in a day. So. Yeah, the way that we would do it was by eating a ton of sugar and getting on these insane sugar highs and just going all night and then um, crashing the hard days. the next day. The Skittles days, mm. it was incredibly unhealthy for me, but it's fine because looking back, it made for some funny episodes. That's true. It is very true. Hey. Whoa, it's a Pichu! Is that good? <laughs> um, it is for me. Okay, cool. I want a fucking Pichu, dude. Yeah, capture him. Oh, God, dude, he's I adorable. Love Pichu, and I never want him to evolve. I want him to only ever be Pichu. He's he's so fucking cute. Pichu is so fucking cute. He's way cuter than Pikachu. I am H O. How old do you think he is? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve months. Twelve seconds. I guess that's a year. You could just say a year. Yes. <laughs> That's like when somebody says they're like five foot thirteen. Or yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> it's like oh. I'm gonna start <laughs> instead of years. I'm gonna start talking about my own age in months, <laughs> like, like babies. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, what, what are you, thirty five? Yeah, I'm uh four hundred and fifty three months. <laughs> <laughs> Very healthy. Very healthy. I'm a, yeah, my, my I'm a growing boy of 
of 13,000 days. <laughs> I eat on the regs. Yeah. Like, yeah, things are going great. Yeah, and then and then if someone was like, how many months was that? I'll be like, this many! And I just hold up, like, my hands over and over in fives. <laughs> for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh man, how didn't we upload a version where it went on for 20 minutes? <laughs> it's really cute. I love Mike Bedsole. I just checked my work. You know what? It wasn't bad. I said 453 months. That would have made me 37 and a half years old. Oh, wow. Uh, and I had said 35. So purely a guess. I am not skilled in the art of math. You are um, better than I am, at least. Well, you're always better than somebody. <laughs> like, if you're, if you're not good at math, then I'm like, like, I'm like a black hole of, like, shit math solving, like, I can't even... If I have a pencil and paper, I'll, I can be like, yeah, hell yeah, but, like, when it comes to doing it in my head, I'm just like, two? Well, my problem is that I'm also in a band with a theoretical physicist who loves math. Brian, Brian has actually said at different points uh, during knowing him, like he'll clap his hands together and be like, let's do some math. And like excitedly sit down and start writing and I just look at him and I think, how can two human beings be so different <laughs> in their motivations and joys? Yeah, but I guess being near him, his math dick rubs off on you. I'm just gonna no. take that statement back. It's okay. It's too late. It's out there. Much like a math dick. It's just, <laughs> once it's out there, you're like, well, actually you've said that before. Cause didn't we play a um, game, like one of those brain buster games where you said, show me your math dick, I wanna <laughs> suck it. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Yep. It's down to It's butt. down to butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, please, please! I got uh, anything. Use it. Use the anything. Use the full restart. Fuck you! Oh, fuck, fuck you! You dang dingle! Oh, God damn it! Use pursuit. Use pursuit. Use pursuit. Oh, super effective. That's what enough. super effective is. Oh my God! I'm first. I'm faster than Alakazam. Oh, it's because I'm level ninety. That yeah, but he's gonna kill you now, isn't don't, he? Don't, 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 <laughs> no! Yes, that was it! That was all! Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to I have to look this up. I have to look if I made a horrible mistake. You did. Fuck! I could've used the bug technique and it would've killed him! I could've beat him with twin needle, man! <laughs> Suck my nuts, Alakazam! God damn it, I made the wrong choice! I should've looked that up before I attacked! This is bullshit! Oh. <laughs> Oh, what a classic moment. Kirby Otaku, man. There's certain little techniques that each of these artists use that you really start to see the patterns and you know who it is before you even mm -hmm. see the name. Like the way Kirby Otaku doesn't always connect mouths. That's oh, how yeah. I know it's it's her. And um, Mike Bedsole with, there's a certain like mouth shape with like the very straight teeth. Mm. I like that a lot. It's it, it's making me feel good that I can spot these things. Also, that is the moment that made uh, our friend Michael Nana, who uh, I've told you about before, he... He uh, was the head of Ghost Satellite. Uh, I've told that you was about the one... before. He's animated stuff well, for us. Well, yeah, he's animated stuff. But, I mean, I've told you about this thing he said before. Oh, okay. um, yeah, that was the moment that he said uh, made him want to vomit blood and die. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a super chill dude and never says anything like that. Yeah. So it was really, uh, it really stuck with me. There was just something in my brain that was like, didn't put together that Bug is strong against. And Bunt, you know, Beedrill, man. He's a bug. I should know this. Scizor, he's a bug type. He's got X, X slice or whatever. Like, I should know this. Dude, it was only episode 118, and we'd only been playing that game for about three years at that point, so it is completely understandable. I used to have these anoli lizards when I was a kid. Um, do you mm -hmm. know them? Yeah, we yeah, had them in Florida. Yeah, little green guys. And I, I, I brought... I had two when I was a little kid. Lizzie and Lizelle. Uh... The, uh, the male, Lizelle, he just, like, one day was like, <laughs> and, like, this gross red pouch, like, just came out of his neck, and, uh, Lizzie just looked over and was like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
and then they just rocked it. And I'm like, I'm like seven years old just watching this, like, oh my god. <laughs> they were the worst because like, they they would just like hang out like on the edge of the sidewalk. Right. And then if you would just like go by on your bike, oh no, they, they were like waiting. They were like, <laughs> now. <And> they... <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd be like, "Whoa! <laughs> I don't want to run over these lizards." Oh, that's awesome! I always just imagined one of them was just like, "Well, it's been a hard day's work at my job that I've spent years and years working my way up to the top in. I better go home to my two daughters and my beautiful wife and bike." <laughs> 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 Oh, it's awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, man, those things, I mean, they're everywhere. I actually saw one the other day outside of my house in California. Um, really? Yeah, it was huge. Lucky. Uh, yeah, those were, that was like the thing about growing up in Florida was they, they would like wait. I don't know what it was. Like they would hear the rumbling or something, but your bike would come up and then they would just pass in front of you from one patch of grass to the other across the sidewalk right when you would get there. And I would never run one over. It, it was like so close. And it's like, why are you waiting to do this right as this bike is coming? I don't understand. Yeah, I especially like that um, Jess drew them uh, as if like, oh, Jess and Knight, the, uh, the animator, she drew them drinking and smoking like these ne'er-do-well anoli teenagers that are always up to no good <laughs> like looking to ruffle the feathers of society um i like that idea because the actual lizards are so not anything they're so devoid of personality yeah they just sit there like <laughs> I had Lizzie and Lizelle, who knows, I was really young, so time felt like it moved differently, but I feel like I had them for years, you know, and uh man tough tough pet to connect with on a personal <laughs> level <laughs> well they, I was they like, i'm giving you mealworms every day why don't you love me <laughs> <laughs> why do you just sit and sun yourself all day as you are wont to do those mealworms smell disgusting they smell like yeah food. um you you oh, what was i gonna say oh growing up in florida bumpkin boy and you just want to fuck with animals and like and poke them and see what they do um so like one of the things is like you you catch animal lizards and the the first way that you think of catching animal lizards is like grab their tail because that doesn't that probably doesn't hurt them right they they're like evolved to lose their tails if they get like caught so if you grab oh, them by do the they tail have so you learn yeah and it really, sometimes grows back a different color so you learn early on as a not to grab them by the tails but instead goad them to bite you on the finger and then they don't let go and then that's how you catch them what are their teeth like they're like nothing it doesn't hurt. But they, but they clamp down and they just stay. And it was a thing in growing up where I was to give yourself anal earrings. I mean, it was not as like a fashion statement. It was like a, just a thing that, oh, look at this, bitch. and then that's it. Because you, you get them to bite your ear and then they don't let go. So they're wow. just hanging down. Sounds like, it sounds like there was a lot going on in your town. It You're, reminds me of that scene in Tommy Boy where Chris Farley is teaching Rob Lowe what to do in their Wisconsin town or whatever it is. And he's like, you've never been cow tipping before. So what you do is you lower your shoulder and you push him. And Rob Lowe goes, and then what? And Chris Farley's like, and then they fall over. <laughs> 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 also... I got it. I always heard it pronounced anoli. I think you're right. It is anol. Uh, here, how to pronounce this animal? Hold, please. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Hold, please. Anol. Yeah. The funny I, thing is, I remember calling them anoles as a kid and having someone usually correct me. No, it's anoli. <laughs> and now. I just went on in front of everybody and looked like an idiot. <laughs> well, right when you said anoli, you know, I was like, oh, is that the way to pronounce it? I'm just going to commit to my way because that's just how I grew up doing it. But also yeah, yeah. when you said it, the first thing I thought of was like, like a cannoli shaped like a lizard. That would sell like hotcakes. <laughs> oh man, it would sell like a cannoli. Anyway. The anoli cannoli? Yeah, dude. Can we make it happen? Of course we can't. We don't have any baking skills. <laughs> It is three in the morning. Hey, who cares? I am so tired. Oh, don't worry about it. We got Pokemon to keep us awake. Yay. We got Pokemon to keep us alive and in 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 sharp. Keep our wits about us. You're right. I stand. 
wildly corrected. Um, here's the thing I was wondering about Go on. while you were on the couch. Falling asleep. Would your... <laughs> rather, would you have a problem <laughs> Okay. if I touched your butt? I mean... While you were sleeping? Yes. <laughs> You would? No, I was like, <laughs> yes, go on. No, 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 that's it. Ah, would you have a problem? <laughs> nah. With me touching your butt? Nah. I'm... Nah. I think you'd probably have a little bit of a problem. Yeah, I probably would. I don't know. Would you have a problem with pulling up your pants so that I didn't have to see seven-eighths of your butt crack? <laughs> right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thanks, man. That was a lot. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play the safari game real quick. There's a full moon. There's a full moon out tonight. I don't know, that was probably like a waning crescent. <laughs> <laughs> a waxing gibbon. <laughs> Is that a gibbous? I don't know. Gibbon, gi gibbous? I don't oh yeah, know. a I gibbon might be a bird. I think it's a monkey, Dude, isn't it? It's a monkey. <laughs> super... Dude, your safari game's over. Yeah, well I'm gonna play again. Cause I didn't get all the fucking items. God damn it, Aaron. You get a special <laughs> item if you get to the end, you fucking clod! Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I do remember that session. Uh, that was a lot. A gibbon is a monkey. It's a type of ape. Mm, they're uh, the ones that, that, that you can hear for like three miles or whatever. Is that right? Because they're screams? Yeah, because they go like... And like... And, the, and that's like the whole thing is like they can communicate with each other over long distances. That's cool. And they but got like but these that long that, arms. that is a big memory of those Pokemon days because it was at the point I hadn't yet um, moved into uh, a place yet. I was still living with my uncle when I first got to LA, and I, and then when we started doing Game Grumps, um, I stayed with you for a little while and all that. Um, so I would just fall asleep on your couch because that was where I slept. <laughs> and then I would remember you waking me up frantically at like two or three AM and just going, Dan, we've got to do episodes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> and, and that animation captures so much of what it was like. It was just you yelling at me <laughs> with most of your ass out. <laughs> <laughs> and saying crazy shit and and laughing uncontrollably because I was so delirious um, They were good times. Well, I, I don't want to I don't want to paint because that paints a very like Terrible picture of like how it was it was it was because like We would already be doing a session at like a reasonable time. A, oh, a, a yeah reasonable yeah. time as right. in like 9 p.m. or whatever and mm -hmm. then like one of us, usually you, would be like, I, need, I just need to, I gotta take a nap or something. Got and then, a nap And out. then you yep. would go sleep on the couch and then it would, and then I would feel bad about waking you up. So I'd just be like, I'll just let him sleep. And he's so beautiful when he sleeps. And that's probably why I was thinking about <laughs> touching your butt. And, okay, and then, thank you. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, like four hours would pass and then I'd be like, I, we gotta, we gotta do we this. We gotta do these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I understand. And, and it, it wasn't like bad at all. Uh, it, yeah, I could understand how it would sound bad, but it it it, it just felt like sleepaway camp, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and some of our most insane giggle fits were from those times, like the Batman past the mustard thing. That was completely <laughs> yes. a four a.m. sleep deprivation kind of laugh. Yeah, that, that's uh, and I loved it. I loved it. Good, good experience. Times. It was good times. Never again, though. Was that? Never again. Oh God, no! It was terrible for our, for our lives. <laughs> anyway, let's do the next one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep. What if? Yes. You made a cartoon. Right. About Pokemon getting high. Right. And called it Tokemon. Oh wow. <laughs> Dude, hold on. I have to laugh. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I, it's so funny you forget to laugh. I actually had a Smokemon t-shirt when I was in college. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, they make them. Oh my god. <laughs> you think you're the first person to think of that? Yes! <laughs> Jesus, it's the funniest joke ever! That t-shirt- Can you imagine Pikachu with a blunt in his mouth? And a- and a- and like, you know, tired eyes? 
And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, Pikachu. <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> like he's a little. Why does smoking weed make you effeminate? He's a little sassy, you know, because he's got like a high self esteem. Because he's like, whatever. Every time you talk about the effects of marijuana, <laughs> it drives home. Fifty times over, how you've never smoked weed once in your life. You're like, you know how when you smoke weed and it fucking lifts you three feet off the ground and gives you a Spanish accent. Hello, my and you're like, hola. I am super high right now. Yeah, literally. That is what high means, right? Mm, caloroso. <laughs> All right, next time I gave girls more educational marijuana. <laughs> wow, I love it. That's I mean that's Iscopy, uh, Imogen, um, one of my favorite animators, and um, someone who's gone on to do very cool animations for um, some of my musical stuff. Uh, she did the Scarborough Fair video, mm -hmm. and she's working on an NSP thing at the oh, moment. Nice. How exciting! Wow. Um, yeah, um, and so. That's cool to see um, an older work like that, because that's got to be seven years old already, right? Yeah, early Pokemon days. I mean, yeah, I, I remember seeing that, like, because that's, like, a very highly viewed uh, animated on our channel that, like, constantly shows up, like, on my feed over the years, because I'm cool. always watching Game Grumps on my, on my account, so... Right. Uh, it's like, oh, have you seen this one? And it's like, yeah, 300 times, but I'll watch it again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love, I love, um, the way she does the, yeah, like those looks <laughs> from you. Those are perfect. So true to life. Yeah. yeah they make them. <laughs> Excellent work. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I, I just agree uh, yeah. with the things that you were saying. Thank you to all the animators who did a fabulous job. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sure you're still out there doing wonderful things. Hell yeah. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Goodbye lovelies. Lovely gamers.